hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for coming on to my happy hour, which I do every day at 5 o'clock. Oh, my gosh, Facebook just told me this is my 100th broadcast. Wow, amazing. Okay, so we're ready for some happy hour. Before I do that, I want to share with you all, you know, every day I talk about uh, global peace and world peace. This is the website if you all want to go there and check it out. It's www.prosperityandpeaceinitiative.org. You can go there and see what we are doing to work toward world peace. Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you for jumping on here and for joining me today. My name is Terry Miller, for those of you who don't know me, and because I do post this on YouTube as well as on Facebook Live. And every day, I come on here at 5 o'clock, which is happy hour in my part of the world. I'm in Florida. And I come on to share some gratitude. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for being on here, honey. And every day, I talk about my book. Hi, Karen. Thank you for being on here. I talk about my book, Gratitude Vase, which is on Amazon. It's on Amazon in English, in French and in Spanish. So whatever your needs are, you can go there and get it, and we're going to translate it into other languages as well, but that's where we are right now. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for being on here. You are my gratitude person today. You went into my gratitude book called Gratitude Vase, and behind me is the actual vase right underneath that big angel over there. That's my vase, and I put your name in there today. I am so grateful for you. You are so near and dear to my heart, and I love you, Michelle. I hope you've had an amazing day. And my sister, Billy, is here. Hi, Billy. Thank you for jumping on here and for joining me. I love you. You guys are so beautiful. Thank you for coming on here. So this is my, my happy hour of gratitude where every day I come on and I share love and light with all of you and let you know this week how I'm doing, which uh, it's been a challenging week. It's been a challenging day. But you know what? I'm alive. I'm alive by a miracle, and I am just so thrilled about that. And each day I'm getting stronger. Each day is a new adventure. Today my adventure was grocery shopping. And you know, our lesson yesterday from the magic was to make a magical to-do list for our day and to give gratitude on the things, three things that we wanted to have happen. Oh, thank you, Michelle. On three things that we wanted uh, to become magic today. Well, one of those things was grocery shopping. I had to go grocery shopping. My cats sent me to the store. They're like, Mom, go get us some food, please. <laughs> so I knew I had to go to the grocery store. I needed to go to the post office. So I did both of that in one trip. And it was, it was a little challenging. I, I was feeling a little weak, but I did it. I did it. Um, and then when I got home, a friend of mine was outside of his apartment, and he asked if I needed help getting the groceries in. So I didn't have to lug my groceries inside. I had somebody bring them in for me, including the cat food and the cat litter. So that was just really amazing that all of a sudden the help was there. You know, I, I didn't go ask anybody for help. It just showed up. And this is the power of gratitude that I'm talking about. This is how miracles happen in our life. And all we have to do is just put out that vibration to the universe that it's going to be magical. I'm going to the grocery store, and I'm, it's going to be a magical experience. And it was. It was. I got the help that I needed. And then when I went to take my garbage out, there was a na another neighbor that was outside, and he's like, oh, is that garbage? I'll take it for you. And he walked it all the way to the end of the parking lot where the dumpster is. So it has been a magical day. It's been a day where people just, out of the blue, helped. You know, they were just like, here, let me help you. Here, let me help you. And it was amazing. You know, it was just really, um, it was a blessing to see that happen and you know I'm teaching you guys these lessons and here I am living proof that it does work that what we put out there we receive back and in very very blessed magical ways 
So I hope you all are keeping up with these lessons. I hope you're doing them because it's going to change your life. It changes my life. It changed it years ago and it's still changing every day as I give gratitude out. I'm going to stop and read your messages. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I love you, honey. I love you and I hope you've had a blessed day. Thank you, Billy. Yes, thank you. Another update, I had my friend Sherry come over today and check the back of my head because, of course, I can't see back there. <laughs> and, and even with a mirror, I can't really see. And I had a call from the emergency room earlier this week, and they told me to keep checking and making sure that it was healing well and that there was uh, nothing out of the ordinary, no bleeding or... Uh, green stuff coming out of it. <laughs> Michelle, I need you to come down and pull the staples out, okay? <laughs> because I don't look forward to going through that. I have to do that probably Monday. I'll go and have the staples removed. Hi, Diane. I love you too, honey. Thank you for coming on here. So, let's get to some gratitude. Who are you grateful for? You know, I'm so grateful for all of you that each day you come on here and you lift my vibration and you send me little love notes, you know, and wishing me well. And today in the mail, I got this wonderful card from my friend. She sent me a get well card and I just, I couldn't help but giggle and smile when I saw that. It was such a cute little card and it really lifted my vibration. Hi, Sandy Nielsen. Thank you for coming on here. Thank you, honey. I appreciate those words. Okay, so let's get to the lesson. Today's lesson is a great one. And I'm going to start by reading the quote from Einstein. Einstein says, A hundred times every day I remind myself that my inner and outer life depend on the labors of other men living and dead, and that I must exert myself in order to give in the same measure as I have received and am still receiving. A hundred times a day, Einstein would stop and say thank you and give gratitude for people who had made his life easier. You know, a hundred times a day. Think about that. How many times have you said thank you today? How many times have you given gratitude out to someone today? I know it hasn't been a hundred for me. I've done it as I've gone along the day, you know, pretty much um, everywhere I've been. But a hundred times a day, every day, Einstein would do this. So, that being said, what your lesson is for tomorrow, and here's the deal. God gave you a gift of 86,400 seconds in every day. Have you used one of those seconds to say thank you? And that's by William Ward. So what you're going to do is we're going to say thank you 100 times tomorrow. That's your lesson. And I know you're probably going, oh, geez, <laughs> right? <laughs> but 100 times it takes about 90 seconds to say thank you a hundred times. So what you're going to do is say it while you're walking. So with each step that you take, say thank you. If you're going to the bathroom, every step along the way, you don't have to count it. You don't have to count. But every step that you take, like from your living room or wherever you're at to the bathroom, say thank you with each step. Every time you put that foot down, say thank you. If you're walking through a mall, say thank you with each step. If you're going for a walk outside, say thank you with each step. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, every time you take a step, say thank you. You're thanking the universe. You're, you're being grateful. And I don't mean just say it, you know, just to be saying it. Oh, Terry said I have to do 100 thank yous today, so here we go. Nothing like that. I want you to say it from your heart. Let that thank you really come from inside and feel it inside when you say it. If you say thank you 100 times in one day, just imagine what your vibration is going to be like. Just imagine how high you're going to be lifted up just by giving that much gratitude in one day. You know, you don't have to say it to anyone in particular, 
but just putting that essence of gratitude, that vibration of gratitude out into the universe. I've, I've said many times, and it's very true, that the vibration of gratitude is the same vibration as love. So when you say thank you a hundred times, you're really putting love out into the universe that many times. Just imagine that. And we already know the law of attraction says that whatever our vibration is that we're putting out there, that's what is matched. That's what comes back to us. So if we're putting a love vibration, a gratitude vibration out to the universe all day long with each step that we take, just imagine what's coming back to you, how the universe is going to match that vibration and say, wow, that's a really high vibration here. Let me bring other stuff in that's really great and wonderful and, and more things that you can be grateful for. That's how it works. That's the law of the universe. And I am just so happy that that's the way it works. You know, I'm, I'm constantly saying thank you to people, but now it's like I'm more aware of those words that I say. And I try to tell people, I appreciate you. You know, instead of just saying thank you. Thank you, uh, you know, some people hear it and they don't really hear the, the real gratitude feeling behind it. But when you say, I appreciate you, or I am so grateful for you, they really hear that. They, it's something that, um, that they see instead of just, you know, they hear thank you a lot. So when they hear, I'm grateful for you, or I appreciate you, then that just lifts that vibration that much more. It makes it more meaningful, okay? I'm going to read your notes here. Okay, Michelle, you just get on that plane and come down here because I need these staples out of my head, okay? They're very uncomfortable, and especially when I lay down at night, it kind of pulls and tugs, so I need them out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to go take them out on Monday. Diane, oh, thank you, honey. Yes, um, the vibration around me right now has been lifted so high, and I know my angels are with me. I know they're everywhere around me and surrounding me. You know, they saved my life, and now they're just really lifting me during this recovery time of really coming back to full force and coming back better than ever before as I recuperate and get all better from this. So thank you, Diane, for noticing that. So guys, tomorrow, what you're going to do is the very first thing, you're going to give gratitude. Give gratitude for the things that you already have. Make your list. Say, I am so grateful for. Make a list of what you're grateful for and why. Why are you grateful for it? You know, why are you grateful for those things in your life? And then say the magic words, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's something magical about saying it three times. And then you're going to remember with each step you take to say thank you. Every time you put your foot down, say thank you. Thank you, thank you. All along your way, wherever you go. Just imagine, I have a friend that's uh, running right now, and, and he's going like five miles. So just imagine how many times he's going to be saying thank you tomorrow if he follows this exercise. That's beautiful. I love it. So I want you to feel that magic when you say those words, when you do the, the gratitude every, all day tomorrow with each step you take. Try to do it a hundred times. If you do it more, awesome. That's even better. But try to do it at least a hundred times tomorrow. Say thank you. And then just before you go to sleep, hold on to your magic rock. And for those of you who don't know, we're, we're just holding a rock. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be a specific type of rock. It can be just a rock you pick up in the yard. It can be a river rock. It can be a gemstone. Whatever you want to hold in your hand before you go to sleep. And think about what was the very best thing that happened to me today. What was that very best thing? I just want you to reflect back on your day and find something that lifted your vibration. And I want you to feel that vibration as you drift off to sleep. Let that be the last thing you're thinking about is how you were just blessed by something during the day. 
and say thank you. Really feel grateful for that happening in your day. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's your exercises for tomorrow from the book The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. That's what we're working through. And today, it was day 19. We're really flying with this thing. We've got nine more days to go. And then you all know the last thing that I talk about on my happy hour is world peace. And I had already posted earlier, I showed you the website, prosperityandpeaceinitiative.org. I am the executive director of the primary team for the Prosperity and Peace Initiative. And I'm looking for people in every nation, all 196 nations. I'm looking for someone to help me to bring forward a master action plan for world peace. And let's, let's do this. I'm looking for someone in every state in the United States. And we are all going to, to get together in our own little piece of the world on September 21st of next year, which is Peace Day. We're going to hold a summit in all the nations, in all the states, and we're going to say we want peace. What does world peace look like to you? What does it look like to you? To me, it looks like everybody getting along, everybody just accepting each other, no matter what nationality, no matter what language we speak, no matter what the color of our skin is, what our beliefs are. Just everybody accepting everybody else. Being kind to your neighbor, just like the person who came and, and took my garbage out for me today. The person who brought my groceries inside for me today. Just being kind. Showing your kindness to one another. That's what it's all about. That's where it has to start. Peace begins in me. And then I can share it out to other people in the world. And that's how world peace is going to happen. Through each one of us. You know, you may say, I'm just one person. What can I do? You can do a lot. And if you want to get more involved, just let me know. Send me a message and I'll let you know how you can get more involved in world peace. Okay, I'm reading your messages here. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, Diane. You know, Diane, it's a funny story. I, I went to the bookstore to buy The Secret. I had already watched the movie, and I went to buy The Secret book, and the magic was sitting right next to it on the shelf, and I didn't know anything about the magic. So I'm picking it up, and I'm just flipping through it, and I'm thinking, you know, I think I really want this book. So I bought the magic instead of buying the secret, and I did those 28 days of exercises. I did it over three years ago, and it totally turned my life around. It totally turned my life all the way around from negative, from depression, from thinking there was no hope, to knowing that gratitude was the key. And the other book is called The Power. I have not read The Power. So I guess I need to get that one next. <laughs> but yes, I love Rhonda Byrne. I love her, uh, her beautiful essence and the positive that she puts out into the world. Yes, I am sure I will, and I will definitely get that. Hi, Lorraine Brown. Thank you for jumping in here. Thank you all for being here today. So I love you all. I love you so much. I am recuperating. I'm getting better with all of your love and your wishes and your healing energy that you have sent my way and the prayers that you have lifted up for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being on my journey. And I am so grateful to my angels that always surround me and always lift me up. I am grateful to be here. I, I have a mission. You know, I'm not going anywhere. It's like I wrote in my blog. I'm not done yet. <laughs> you know, I'm not done yet. God has a plan for me. I have a mission that I'm on. And world peace is included in that mission. And uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, I'm right here. I love you. I'm sending out love and light every day. And I'm on here on Facebook Live every day at 5 o'clock. And I put these up on YouTube so that anybody that wants to follow along and do all of the 28 days of the exercises can follow on YouTube and watch it every day starting with day one. So thank you all for joining me. 
please tell others if you have someone you think can benefit from this, someone that needs a little bit of uplifting and joy and happiness in their life. I am more than happy to share with them that, uh, you know, it, it all starts on the inside. There's nothing out there that can create the happiness. It all comes from inside. So thank you. Thank you again for coming on here. And hi, Yoka. Thank you for joining me. And I love you all. I send you many, many blessings of love and light. And thank you again for being in my life. And remember your lessons for tomorrow. Remember with each step that you take, say thank you with every step. And you'll be glad you did. It's going to lift your vibration very high. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow, same time, 5 p.m. Eastern. I'll be on here for a happy hour. And I will be posting this on YouTube a little later on. Please share it out with your friends. Thank you all. Good night. I love you.